in today's video, I'm gonna talk about how the state of America has gotten worse and worse over time. You know, Americans are fed up with uh, high food prices, the high price of good, the high price of, you know, rent. You know, everything's going up, interest rates, all of that. You know, we're seeing that more and more videos are coming out where they're having mystery meat. You can't trust, uh, you know, the, the grocery store, the food market, all this uh, GMO, all of this stuff made in a lab. Man, when are things gonna get better? Let's talk about it. Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spirit Food episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, today I'm talking about a topic that has a lot of people fed up. You know, they're fed up, like I said, about food prices, about uh, the way that the economy is being ran, you know, law enforcement not conducting themselves as they should. And, uh, you know, you can tell that we are in the last days biblically. And this is where I want to drive home the point that your religion is possibly not doing you any good. Whether that's Christianity, whether it's, it's Catholicism, whether it's any denominations uh, that are a part of those or sects that are a part of those or branches. It's not doing you any good because they're very good at sometimes talking about these problems, but even the religious leaders, pastors, priests or whatever, are not telling you what the Bible actually says about how uh, to fix some of these issues for you and your household. The word says, come out from among them, be ye separate. You know, oftentimes a lot of these problems that we hear about on the news, we hear people complaining about, people got TikToks hours long talking about, you know, people got uh, millions of TikToks talking about uh, there's no seeds in the watermelon. Oh, there's no seeds in the watermelon. There's fake meat and it's lab meat and all of this stuff. But the problem is nothing is going to change until you start holding yourself accountable. Let me say that again. Nothing is going to change until you start holding yourself accountable. And some people say, man, well, I don't have the money uh, to shop at places like Trader Joe's and Whole Foods and you know I don't have the money for that and I, I, I would tell you that you have more resources than you realize but you're not using them adequately you know at what point will you and some other brothers and sisters get together of the same mind same faith and say man we need to get out of this system we need to purchase our own land you know we need to figure out how we can build our own house. You got people building houses out of shipping containers now. A $4,500 shipping container and they're building nice structurally sound homes. There's no excuse at the end of the day. You know, you're getting sucked into these uh, holidays and events that are keeping you broke. Fourth of July, what are you expected to do? Have a huge barbecue you know, buy all these fireworks and pop them, money down the drain. Christmas, holiday that's not even biblical, buying gifts for grown adults that are entitled. It's idolatry. Easter, buying candy, buying these eggs to put them in. You know, Halloween, once again, buying all this candy, giving it out to the community, buying these costumes. I've done videos on this before. This stuff is sucking away your resources. You know, uh, you, you're mad at law enforcement. Man, law enforcement, I can't believe they shot this man and shot that woman, but when will you protect yourself? When will you use your Second Amendment rights and bear arms? When will you start uh, policing up 
your direct AO, your area of occupation, where you occupy, you know? When will you uh, get you some potting mix and a pack of seeds, a pack of heirloom seeds, and start to try to learn how to grow your own food? A lot of people that, that claim this don't even know their city ordinances where some places you can have chickens within city limits. This will solve some of the problems, but you're not gonna have resolution to any of these problems until you start taking accountability. A lot of people are complaining about the politicians. If you know about the popular vote and how it doesn't affect who the president is, why are you taking a part in it? You know, these people got you focused on, okay, vote for the big figureheads. When you, you go to the poll, you don't know who, it, who any of the lower people in your district actually are. So you possibly could be hurting yourself where these big people are not gonna cause change that directs you in your immediate area. But the people that, you know, could involve change or help promote change in your area, you don't even know who they are. You're just, you're just seeing everything, checking C on everything. And you don't know who is who. But I tell you, when you look at the Bible, man, when you look at the acronym Bible, basic instructions before leaving earth, basic instructions before leaving earth, it tells you to build you houses and plant you gardens, live in them and eat thereof out of them. You know, the Most High Yah says, hate not laborious work or husbandry, which the Most High Yah has ordained. Don't hate agricultural work. That's what husbandry means, vine dressing. You know, you have to, you have to start looking at ways that to city folk, they would call it alternative lifestyle. Oh, that's a, you know, uh, the, the city, people in the city got everything to say about the people living in the wilderness. Oh, they're prepping and doing all of this and storing ammo and storing food. But guess what? You know, some of those same problems that are affecting you don't affect us. And when we got resolution was when we held ourselves accountable. You see what I'm saying? There's, this, there's a way to live to where when you go into the grocery store, if you gotta live in the grocery store now, man, you can buy uh, bulk items, potatoes, oats, rice. Get this stuff in the biggest bags you can. Buy your meat, okay? You know, that's if you're in the city. All of this other stuff that comes in boxes and uh, packets and no, save your doggone money save your money go to the uh there's places where restaurants go shop you know go there go there tell them you're a sole proprietor go there and doggone uh you know buy your food if you don't have any other options but i'm telling you this stuff there's people out here that love target but don't have a target budget Listen to what I'm saying. You love Target, but you don't have a Target budget. Stuff in Target is expensive. And rather than, okay, looking at alternative sources, okay, man, I know I can buy my meat over here. I can get it from a butcher because they'll give me a good deal on these cuts versus you buying this stuff high in the store that you like because of your prep. Like, there's so many different angles, but until you start holding yourself accountable, you know, when you're thinking about getting that new car and you're, oh man, I need that new car and these rates is 9% and above, man, you better find out uh, how you can get that car you got to go even further, get up out of some of this debt. You know, this stuff is not gonna get uh, any better or there's not gonna be any solutions or resolutions made until you yourself take accountability for you and your household. That's yourself, you know, your wife, your kids. You know, when you look at how much waste the average American person uh, has pertaining to food, you'd be surprised, man. Those leftovers are enough to feed another one to two people. You're buying these high groceries, but yet you don't want to eat leftovers. And you're throwing this stuff away. You better figure out a way to, 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 to eat it and not have them kids 
uh, give you all their preferences and, and control your hand. Hey, we're eating beans three nights in a row because that's what we got. Bottom line, point blank period. I know it don't appease everybody's taste buds, but you'll go to sleep and you'll wake up and see another day. I'm telling you, you know, we're looking at a, uh, it's been an obesity epidemic. And a lot of it has to do with this food. It has a lot, a lot to do with all of these conveniences that make uh, American people docile. And I tell you, you, you can't expect for them to put vegetables on the shelf that's got weight loss properties in it. When they got all this stuff they cooking up is in the lab. Man, you have to get out here and get active. Get out here and get active. Some of the stuff that I'm talking about, gardening, getting out there, learning that, being in that heat, getting climatized. There's no need to sit in the sauna if you actually get out uh, and work in the heat. You know? You got to look at things that you can uh, trim the fat on in this daytime and hour in order to have a more prosperous life, have long longevity. But simply putting the blame on other people and expecting them to cause some catastrophic change in your life for the better is not gonna happen. Put the onus on you, start taking accountability, and that's when things will change. Closer to Yah Ministries kicking it, gun barrel straight. Pow.